Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To modify reports in Access, open them in Design View. In Design View, you can add controls to the report in the same way that you add controls to a form. However, the controls in a report are typically read-only and are not used to change data, but to display data instead. One of the most useful types of controls is the Calculated Text Box control. These types of fields are created when you add totals to a group in a report. While you can create many of the calculated fields you need while creating groups, you can also create them yourself. A calculated field is simply a text box control that displays the result of a calculation you create instead of a field value. To create a calculated field, open the report in Design View and insert a text box control into the report. Most often, calculated fields are added to either a group footer or to a report footer, depending on whether you want to perform the calculation for each group or over all of the records in a report. Next, select the text box control you inserted and view its properties in the property sheet. You can click the property sheet button that appears in the tools button group on the design tab of the report design tools contextual tab in the ribbon to display the property sheet if needed. In the property sheet itself, click the data tab. Then click into the Control Source Property field, and then click the Expression Builder button, which looks like an ellipsis mark and appears at the right end of the Control Source Property field. This will then launch the Expression Builder dialog box. This dialog box is used to create functions and formulas. Either type the expression or formula to calculate into the box at the top of the Expression Builder dialog box, or select individual elements provided in the three sections at the bottom of the dialog box to create the formula. When you are done creating your formula, click the OK button to set the field's formula. A very important consideration when creating a calculated field is where it will be placed in the report. A calculated field may display different results depending on the section of the report into which it is inserted. For example, if you add a calculated field that totaled a sales field, the formula in the calculated field would be equals sum, open parenthesis, open bracket, sales, close bracket, close parenthesis. If you place this field into a report footer, the same calculation will show the total value of that field for all records as a grand total. If you place this same field with this same calculation into a group footer, it shows the total of that field for all the records in the group. If it's placed into a page footer, it causes an error, as calculated fields cannot be evaluated on a per-page basis. In addition, if you place the calculated field into a group footer, you then have the ability to set the function as a running sum. To do this, select the field and then click the Data tab in the Property Sheet. Then click into the Running Sum Property field and use the drop-down that appears at the right end to set the value to Not Calculate, which is the default, to Calculate per grouping, or to Calculate over all the records. This is a great way of displaying running totals over groups if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.